as you hopefully saw last time, the bifolds are finally in and that means this room is properly weathertight. And of course, that can only mean one thing. It's time to do the knock through. So I've made a start and the, there's good news and bad news. The good news is, is that this is really well built. Uh, the bad news is this is really well built. And unfortunately, I was hoping the roof would just kind of lift off. But what we've actually got here, we've got quite a nice little kind of uh, warm roof design here going on. We've got GRP over the top and then we've got 18 mil chipboard. We've got 100 mil of insulation. We've got some sort of vapor barrier thing um yeah and then we've got another 18 mil of chipboard and then we've got another 100 mil of insulation these don't go the full depth and then we've got the plasterboard ceiling on the other side you do have to be really careful when you're taking fiberglass out because these are absolutely razor sharp edges on here so gloves gloves territory i'm not entirely sure how this is all bonded together but as I say, it's it's not budging. It's very, very solid. Nothing feels like it's about to just lift off. So I don't know if this uh, chipboard might be glued onto the insulation or it might have really long screws going all the way through these kind of rafter things down here. I'm not sure, I can't see any screws going all the way through, but we'll find out. It is exactly 10 years old, this. This was put in in 2012 by the looks of it. And as I say, they've done quite a nice job um, we will see how easy it's going to be to get this out. And as I say, hopefully we'll do it without lacerating ourselves on the fibreglass. Mm.
think about me because I'm starting to doubt we can find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. Briefly mentioned last time, but this vent brick unfortunately has to go. There's a radiator going on that wall, so it just wasn't practical to keep it. We're not entirely sure what it was used for. Suggestions from you lovely people include a vent for an old pantry, a vent for an old boiler, and some sort of cavity vent. If we ever find out, of course, we will let you know. In the meantime, don't worry, this certainly won't be going in the skip. We'll keep it and use it for a future project somewhere down the line. So that's us finally through. The bay window was never original to the property and as far as we can work out from the age of the bricks and asking neighbours, it was built around the 1950s. To say it was solid was an understatement. As per usual we did a full clear out under the floor and then it was simply a case of adding new joists between these two sleeper walls. We also made sure enough bricks were removed below floor level to allow air to freely circulate all the way from the new extension right through to the front of the house. I've said it before and I'll say it again, air circulation under your floors is so important to keeping your timbers in good condition. Then it was just a case of insulating under the floor in the same way that we've done before. Of course before that we left a little present under the floor for the next person who goes under here. And how did we do on the floor levels? Well they're pretty much perfect which is always a relief. You can use as many lasers and spirit levels as you like but until you get that connection between the old floor and the new floor you don't know 100% how well you've done. There were a few remedial repairs on the walls but on the whole it all went pretty smoothly and here's a sneak peek of our view from the sitting room. More about the garden in a future episode since that will be a challenge in its own right. We've got a lot of leftover glass but we plan to use that as part of a future greenhouse project later down the line. More importantly we can get two of the messiest trades started and that's the plastering and the rendering. More about that next time. There's light at the end of the tunnel, but in a way, we're heading for the hardest part of the whole project, and that will unfold on a future episode. For now, folks, take care, look after each other, and we'll see you next time. Tatty bye!